seems like everyone hates the plus size Delph. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about a new anime that is coming out recently. The anime has just been announced and people are complaining about just the whole visualization and just the concept of having a plus size Elf on both sides of the aisle. Whether you're promoting this social justice warrior identity politics stuff or you're battling against the woke and you're, you think everything is being infiltrated by woke ideology, you're against this anime. And I think it's funny where I think this anime has no stance on either side it's not something that's promoting being fat because the main character is trying to lose weight so i think this is a completely different perspective i think this is just japanese culture creating a divide in america where japanese culture was just doing something cute and funny and people are creating their own opinions saying this is oh this is woke ideology infiltrating uh, japanese animation and manga when that's not the case this is just someone uh, a creator i think that just likes very robust women and he created a manga and he had a good idea uh, or interesting idea of having uh, usually the conventionally slim elf as a plus size woman. You don't see that that often. And I don't think he was doing it for points from social, political, uh, agendizing concepts or anything like that that we see in the Western world. No, I think this is someone's particular uh, flavor when it comes to, uh, I guess, how he sees women as being attractive and he made a manga out of it. I think that is the only thing. But of course, in America, we immediately divide things. And I think this is the case here where people are on social media saying this is fat shaming. This is evil. This is just uh, ridiculing fat people is making fun of them while people are on the other side are saying, oh, this is woke ideology infiltrating japanese manga and now it's becoming an anime they're trying to force this body positivity thing on down our throats and i've read one volume of this i think in the past i barely remember it i know it's one of those fun uh, almost comedic type of mangas out there that's why i didn't really stick to it but i don't think it has any social agenda behind it this is just someone making a funny concept and executing it well enough where it gains popularity and it's being able to be made into an anime and i think that is the case with this because people are having a, a wild backlash and there's no almost no positivity or support behind it from both sides people are saying this is just a uh, execution of western ideals of body positivity when that's not the case and you have people saying this is fat shaming this is going against body positivity this is uh, against our ideals that we should normalize being fat and our own love our own body types and stuff like that and no it's not against that either it has nothing uh, related to that i think especially if you read the manga she's always trying to lose weight so it doesn't make any sense to have that thought process and i think it's just a, a interesting way where we see the dynamics of western culture divvying up and dividing uh, a property that has nothing Nothing to do with Western identity politics or anything related to social agendas in America. And I think it is crazy to see how effective this manga and anime announcement has divided people who are usually already in their own corner, already having their talking points set where they're ready to attack anything that is against their own ideological standpoint. And I think that's the case with this manga or anime that has been announced where people are attacking it from their ideological standpoint without actually actually looking at the manga looking at the the intention of the creator because if you look at the intention of the creator this is just pure comedy as you can see here it's nothing else nothing more than that and i think just seeing some of the the pictures and scenes and just the the way the art is crafted this is just for comedy's sake and this is where i can see the people that are saying this is against body positivity and they're they're calling it fat shaming i can see their anger because this is not saying this is cute or this is how you should look this is a healthy or anything like that that no is saying oh, i'm trying to lose weight i'm trying my best but i can't lose weight and that's the comedy ensuing and the people that are saying this is uh promoting uh fat positivity they just simply haven't read the manga they don't know anything about what's going on with this uh, particular material here and i think they're judging it just based on the history of what they're seeing happening to a lot of entertainment properties in america where it's transformed into something entirely different than it was intended for and i think that is a real 
real threat for this because the manga is pure comedy but everything outside of that it, it can be influenced by the english dub localizers if you don't know what's going on in the localizer industry localizers have been transforming the overall intention of the creators for different animes for over a decade now and i think more than a decade almost 20 years where they've been altering uh, the intentions of stories the dialogue interaction so i can see that happening for this anime where they just flip the comedy routines into into lessons about body positivity love your fat stomach or something like that and I, th I think that's a high possibility and i can understand people being apprehensive to that actually happen to the the localized dub or subtitles for this anime so to be aware of that i think that's a uh, natural and i understand people that are against these social agendas being angry at this but they're not angry at that they're just angry at the general concept and i think no you shouldn't be if you looked at the some of the details this is not promoting anything related to western social agendizing but here we go let me read some of the comments and i'll give you my thoughts the recently announced plus size elf anime has got online culture war puritans up in arms and for the opposite reasons plus size elf is an upcoming anime series featuring tomatsu now a dietitian who meets an elf that needs his help elfuda is stuck in the human realm after discovering a love for french fries that's made it so she can't fit her tummy into the portal back into her fantasy world you can see the comedy right there this is not written with western ideology in mind at all because they're making fun of things that people can't do in america anymore some social media users are taking issue with the series some accuse the series of normalizing fat and being woke meanwhile others are accusing the show of body shaming and are upset that the va for el fuda isn't plus size herself so it's just random things they're mad at they're mad that the voice actor is not obese i'm like what are you talking about this is something that uh, completely unrelated to the the job you're working and i think that this focus on always what is your identity is just the the, the basis of racism in, in its whole so i really am against that thought process because it just codify something that should have been ended years ago but let's continue so woke ideology infecting anime never thought i saw the day and this is people that don't know the anime this is just comedy this anime is not promoting any ideology but of course people think this is a uh, uh, initially that it is about body positivity and not fat shaming when this anime is fat shaming and the manga is going to be fat shaming a lot i wish they didn't give her hentai boobs Looks like a fat fetish more than body inclusion. When are we going to stop openly objectifying women? Male characters aren't treated this way throughout anime. Yeah, we have a lot of fat male characters. They're usually the comedy and that ha is happening to fat female characters. So I think it's pretty equal there. Damn American media is going to mold over this anime. My body positivity though. Cast someone plus size. What the hell? West Tards will never like this, I'm sure of it. And this is just the dynamic. People are just uh, all over the place with this uh, anime. And I, I like that. This is causing controversy. And I think this is the sort of thing you want to see with your anime where it just puts people in an awkward position. And I think that is the genius with Plus Size Elf. And I don't think that was the intention of the author, but he did it. And hopefully they keep the localized translation similar to what they do with the manga. And it's consistent with the Japanese language. If they do that, this is going to be a hit regardless but for me, I think this is a, a, probably an interesting manga that is being turned into an anime. I like the discussion it's causing. I don't think it's woke or anything like that. And I, I don't think it's anything that is focused on uh, body positivity or anything like that. You can see how this will affect both sides of uh, any talking point for this where people are against it no matter what. But I like that. I think this is the, the, the true mark of a creative mind to create something that is a causing controversy like that. But what do you think about this? Do you think uh, the plus size elf is something supporting uh, fat positivity? I doubt that. Or do you think this is a, a comedy, a general comedy that is just making fun of it? Leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe. This is Wagner Knows Why. Catch you next time.